Hello and welcome back to another Swift tutorial. Today we're going to actually start writing some code in our playground and we're going to talk about variables and constants. Variables and constants are used in every program um, in Swift. So understanding the, the couple little rules about each one will get take you a long way, right? Um, there's only a couple little rules that we need to follow every time we use a constant or a variable and um, just understanding them and knowing when to use a constant and when to use a variable will take you, you know, make your life so much easier. So let's go ahead and create a playground. I'm going to call this variables and constants. All right, I'm going to hit next. And I'm, I save mine in Swift Playgrounds. I suggest you do the same thing create a new folder and save it in. Um, a folder where you can easily access all your playgrounds that way you can go back and uh, reread some stuff if you get confused uh, so we'll hit create now this is going to open a playground first one we're going to talk about is a constant a constant is a label or a name that represents a piece of data that and that data will never change all right um, basically saying hey this piece of data is always going to be the same through the life of our program it will never change all right so to create a constant, we use a keyword called let, and then we give that uh, constant a name or a label. So in this case, we're going to use name, and then we're going to hit equal, and we're going to put a name. You can use your name. I'm going to use Tom. All right. So in the 34 years of my life, my name's never changed. It's always been Tom. So that's a good constant right there. It's never going to change. So if your data is never going to change, you want to use a constant. And the reason for that is um, constants are safer. So if later on in my code I want to use name again, it's going to kick back an error and say, hey, you cannot change me because I'm already set as, in this case, Tom. All right. I'm already, you know, representing that. I can't be changed. So that, that makes your program a little bit uh, safer. And also, um, it's a little bit more efficient with Swift when the program runs because Swift's not going to go look for a bunch of different uh, values for name. All right, it knows it's just Tom. All right, so what happens if I try to change it? If I went name is equal to uh, my son's name, Jake, hit return. Well, I get an error over here, and this error is going to say can't assign to value. Name is is a let constant, all right? So I can't change it. Now, if I change it to var, which is a variable, then I could change it. So let's go ahead and delete this, all right? Because we can't do that, because we can't change the value, the data. And now let's talk about some uh, data that are data that we can change, and that would be a variable. To create a variable, we do var, and then we can do, uh, let's do each because my age does change and I'm going to say 34 all right cuz I'm 34 right now and in about a half a year I'll be 35 so if I want to change my age I go age is equal to 35 all right so you're going to see right here age is equal to 34 and then down here age is equal to 35 once uh, xcode catches up here you'll see 35 pop up here there you go um, so we can change that. So what's going on here? Well, var is our keyword for variable. Age is representing uh, the data of 34, which is an integer, but don't focus on that too much. And then um, down here, I, re I change it. I reassign it to uh, a new data, integer of 35. All right. So variable lets us change our data what we're representing, where constant doesn't let us change it. So when you're building your programs, you kind of got to think about, hey, is this data ever going to change? If no, then you use a constant, which would be represented by let, just like this. Now, is this data ever going to change? And if it's a yes, or it might, or maybe, or something along those lines, then you want to use a variable because uh, once you try to change it, you're going to get an error like we saw beforehand. All right. Um, other than that, this is the basics of a constant and a variable. If you can understand the basic couple rules, let's just review them real quick. 
Constants never change. The data never changes for constants. Once you try to change it, you're going to get an error. All right. So if when you're writing your program, if that data type is never going to change, then use a constant because it's safer and more efficient. Um, a variable. Now, the data could change for that, and it's going to be. Um, it could or it will or it definitely will. So. Um, when using a variable, if there's a possibility that that data might change, then you want to use a variable, all right? You don't want to use a constant because you won't get an error if the data changes. But if down the line, if your program's acting funny because data keeps changing and you can't figure it out, well, it's probably a variable somewhere and you probably should use the constant if you want to keep that data the same. Um, also, one thing to talk about, uh, which we're going to look at in the next tutorial is data type. If I did age is equal to uh, 35 like this, where it's not an integer, it's a string, I'm going to get an error because I cannot change the data type. can't assign a value string to type integer because I'm setting the type up here. It's saying var age is 34. Now there's an exception to this rule and we will talk about that, but for now um, just know that once you set it to a certain data type, 99% of the time, you got to keep that same data type. All right. If you have any questions, leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at swifttutorial.online, and we'll see you in the next one.